So we are here on the first self-driving shuttle route across Pungol. It's an autonomous vehicle that is operated by Grab and WeRide, and it's meant to connect residents to places that are not as easily accessible by public transport. So the car is about the size of an MPV and it sits five people with ample legroom. In front is the safety operator. Hi, Alan! So the safety operators will be there for the community ride phases. They don't have their hands on the wheel or their foot on the brake or the accelerator, but they're there to take over in any case of emergencies. Driving is on the left-hand side and the door opens only on the right-hand side and they're an automatic door. So as a passenger, I felt pretty safe because there was also a support call button on the in-vehicle display, which is then picked up by the customer support back at HQ of Grab. So we started at Matilda Court and then we went over to Pungol Clover, which are both residential areas. And we then made our way to Pungol Plaza and finally to Oasis Terrace. So this is a way to connect residents to food courts, shopping centers, and even a polyclinic at the end at Oasis Terrace. So the autonomous driving is very, very smooth. It knows how to overtake vehicles, when to slow down. There's an in-vehicle display that shows when there's people walking across the road, when there's bikers coming, when people are lane changing, and it's able to slow down and speed up as needed. Even when it's taking left turns, when there's buses coming, it's all quite smooth. I also felt that the stopping and starting is quite gradual. I don't feel like there's any jerky brakes. And as we've been going across Route 1, the vehicle has been adjusting its speed based on the speed limit of the roads ahead of us. I think the fastest we went was 40 to 45 kmph. So we do see AVs as an important future part of the mobility landscape. And for Grab in particular, I think we do envision that we will have a hybrid network of both drivers and AVs uh, into the future. So I think. Uh, we are taking the initial steps today to make that uh, set the foundations for that. And I think the first deployment we have in Pongo will help us to deeply understand the operational realities uh, of running AVs on the ground, ensuring they're safe for residents and commuters. And in this phase, we will iteratively gather feedback on things like uh, how people interact with the AVs and also consumer demand for services. Grab told us that prior to the community ride, these vehicles clocked over 10,000 kilometers of trial which was over a hundred rounds in Pongo. 